Hey, what's up? This is Dilio, and you're at the Dilio T2K channel, and this is how to remake California Love. In the previous video, we covered Omarion's Touch, which is a nice Neptune's tune, but now we're going to come back home with Dr. Dre and do California Love. Now, in this series, there's going to be multiple parts. We're going to make the beat first, and then in part two, and it could go to part three if needed, depending on the feedback that I get from the videos, but we're going to do some top box recording and we're going to do sort of a mini cover of the beat and the hook combined together and uh, I'm going to talk about some techniques that I like to use for top boxing as well as feed some sounds from my chemical sound library and also we're going to put that all together and also there's some sounds I've made for this beat remake that I'm going to upload into the chemicals library so if you already bought chemicals you're going to get these sounds free just check the, the download that you have it's going to be updated all right we're going to start off first with the piano. So let's start off with the piano. We're in the key of G. And if you pay attention to a lot of stuff that I think Dre produces, like 50 cents in the club, you'll hear it in the key of G. So let's put that down. It's a very simple groove where we go from F. And I got a BPM of about 91 BPM. So let's go ahead and put that down. drums down. Now when I heard the beat I kind of heard more of a vinyl source drum samples. I didn't really quite know where Dre got his sounds from but of course at that time there was still a lot of sampling from vinyl and so I tried to go with that same theme and find samples of drum sounds with a vinyl sourcing. And I also found a shaker. I'm going to put in kind of a TRC 606 808 cymbal in there and uh, an open loose hi-hat sound. It's a very boom bap straight up simple beat. So Let's go ahead and put that down. Okay, so let's hear that with the piano. Alright, so we got those two. Sounds really close to the beat, but we have more elements to add. So let's see what other sounds I have to add. So again, now we got brass sounds. I'm using them, I'm using the session horns from Complete. So we're gonna add that in there. As there are some pickup notes in there, so sometimes we have to let the loop run all the way over to the end so that we can have those pickup notes come in. That's one of the challenges you can have with producing tracks on machine is pickup notes or notes that are going before the start of the actual measure that you're going to do or the final notes in the measure coming back. So as long as I play the pickup notes while recording loops, they'll all be in there. But if it's in a situation where they're only pick up where the pickup notes only happen once, then what we gotta do is use a different piece of software to do that because we can't really quite get the end of the fourth beat of a measure going into the, the groove slot of beat one in the next measure. We, we're not quite there yet with the machine. So let's try this out. And basically it's just a fifth interval. Then I'm just moving up to a third, which is a minor third. A major third would sound like this but a minor third will sound like this. So let's go ahead and put it down. Now we have another sound to add. Now this is a sound effect that I've done on Massive and I called it Cali Love or what I called it. I called it uh, Cali Drop and that's a sound based on the laser sound that you hear in the original song. I synthesized it in Massive, saved it as a patch of chemicals and this will be in the upgraded chemicals patch library because I'm going to keep adding sounds to it for the end of the year as long as I keep creating sounds for it. So 
We're going to add that in there so we have a nice sweeping laser sound or falling star sound with a nice low end sweetener. And um, we're going to put that in there and I'm going to meet it out so it doesn't get too annoying. So let's add that sound in. So we got that, but I'm going to mute that because that only comes in so many times during the beat. And we have another sound we're going to add. And this is sort of a synthesizer pad sound. I call it Cali Cali with reference to Dre's California Love. That's another chemical sound I just designed for this tutorial for this remake or this how-to video and it's going to be in the updated library of chemicals which should be live as soon as this video is uploaded because it shouldn't be that hard for me to do it. So let's light it up. Let's put it in. So what it is is just a, a, a full, uh, probably a whole note and then let's go. So we're going to put that in and see what it sounds like everything. got that chorus sound there sound in there and now we're going to do something which kind of sounds like a chime and uh, we're going to add that in it's kind of sort of a, a tensive sound in it that comes in as the beat going where it goes dun, 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 bah, right so we got the synths going in there and uh, we're going to add it in so that's also an original sound there I haven't named it yet but uh, it's sort of sort of a marimba mixed with something but it sounds really good with the beat so let's add that in there and uh, see how it sounds. And the notes of that is basically a D, a D, a B flat, and an A. And I'm just putting that in every so many measures, like this. So that sounds good. So now we're going to add the secret sauce that binds it all together. Uh, there's some magical about a bass line coming into a track. It just it just does something to you emotionally. It just takes you somewhere else. And so with this, I hear a low end bass sound, and um, doesn't quite sound like a bass guitar. It could be, but uh, not really. So what I'm going to do is use the Dilly bass, and you know that's one of the patches on the Chemicals Library. Got massive pulled up. Really simple bass line. Now, it may still sound like a bunch of low crap by itself, but when you mix it with the beat, sounds that I made for the Chemicals Cash Library, which is on sale now from the month from right now to the end of October. It's special sale price. It's 20% off of the regular price that I'm going to be selling it for. 
that's on there. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe so you can catch part two where I go over to the Moog Sub Fatty and do some top boxing. We're gonna record that, we're gonna mix it, we're gonna go into Studio One Three, which is probably one of the few Studio One Three videos that I use, but I'm gonna show you some techniques that I use to record top boxing and it's gonna be great. So make sure you check that out, make sure you check out chemicals, get yourself a copy. You're seeing what I'm doing, I'm adding more sounds to it. People who already bought it, they're getting more sounds already, even though they only paid one price, they're still getting more stuff added to it. This is a growing project going all the way to the end of 2016. It's really special, and I just want to give a special thanks to everybody who's gotten the copy already. I want to keep hooking you guys up. All right, so with that, I'm going to get out the way. Please make sure to like the video, comment, and hit the subscribe button so you can check out some more. We're out of here. Peace.